Hi, hello, and welcome to Dolmen. This is a new game. Uh, it's coming out tomorrow, Friday, the 19th. Is it 19th or the 20th? Uh, tomorrow is the... Um, this is a... Oh my goodness, it's the 20th. Sorry, tomorrow is Friday, the 20th of May. This is coming out on pretty much all platforms. We are currently, we are going to be playing on PlayStation 5. And um, I've had this for a few days now, and I've been playing it for a little while. And I just wanted to give you a little flavour of what it's like, give show you the beginnings and what you can get up to. Um, and yeah, a little bit about this game. So let's uh, dive in. We're going to start a new game. There's two mics in here. So that was, uh, I started a new game with a tank build. I did not do very well, did not get very far. And I did another game um, where it's a bit more, uh, a bit more varied. Where I can do some uh, some parrying and some uh, some blocking, attacking with with the shield. That was m I fared much better on that one. So we're going to start a new one. And this character is going to be essentially the same sort of thing as the previous character. So you're going to have a shield. You're going to have uh, a hammer. You have a, a ranged weapon. Uh, this one we're going to call Nigel. Um, it's going to be male. I don't know why. Um, mainly because I've already written the name. And I don't want to write the name again. Um, and uh, he can customize here. Um, see the colors. So I mean, it's not. It's not. I wouldn't say it's a robust customization, but it's the little bits and bobs. There you go. Let's give a green trim there. Uh, let's give. Oh, can we do purple? Oh yeah. Let's have a look at that. It's purple. Let's make this as completely uncoordinated as possible. Should we put some pink in it. Yes. Let's put some pink in there. Um, some red Ugh. oh no even that's even bad even for me um white and uh, not quite uh, let's do a lighter pit there we go that's more like it and then something something a little bit lighter there we go wonderful now you're ready to present on the uh, cbbc uh and yeah so let's go are you sure you want to apply this customization yes i am absolutely sure Dolmen is a crystal whose radiation has interdimensional properties. It makes the membranes that separate universes thinner, making different realities collide. An interdimensional rift appeared at the mining station in Revion Prime. Always happens. The entire installation was infested by creatures and who knows what else. We need to contain the effects of this catastrophe before it's too late. Your mission is to go to the mining station in Revion Prime, exterminate the creatures, and bring back samples and crystals so we can study ways to contain future incidents. Nice and easy. You, you will know. be teleported to the station. We will provide tactical support, but once inside the station, you will be on your own. Beautiful. Due to interference, the teleportation will be turbulent. We count on you to contain this crisis. We got this, it's fine. I do like the uh, Preparing to teleport music. in three, two, one. Welcome to Revion Prime. <laughs> After all that, welcome to Revion Prime. There will be monsters and other such nasties. Okay. Commander, come in. What happened? Something interfered with the teleport. I've never seen readings like this. Are you sure I'm in the right place? If I'm reading it right, you're on the disposal well, area. The Keep us informed on your progress. The glowing red things on the floor would suggest you're in the right place. God, look at that purple arm. I did have made the right choice. Okay, so this game, essentially, the best way I can describe it is Dark Souls 1, and I'm saying 1 specifically, um, and, some, and Dead Space. Um, with some Lovecraftian nastiness, weird goopy goops all over the place. Um, and that's as technical as I'm going to get right now. So this is the very start of the game. And um, let's crack on. So like I said, I'm playing on PlayStation 5. This is in performance mode. And they do have a quality mode as well, which I believe uh, has ray tracing. Um, so they've done well on that one. Um, so as we go through, I'll give my thoughts on the game as well. It's the first section here. Energy healing. Press square to heal yourself. It consumes energy directly from your energy bar. So the heal health is the red bar. The energy bar is the blue bar. So let's press square to heal. There we go. So it's used up some of our energy. Now, if you see on the bottom left, you can see on the, the four sections at the bottom, you've got um, four of those. On the right is the, the melee weapon. The left is the, uh, the, 
shield and the top is your ranged weapon so the bottom is um i can't remember what it's called those those are blue capsule things so basically those are you you can replenish your energy which is the blue bar so you can use four of those and that are reset when you get to certain points as well or if you um when you uh, kill enemies as well r1 light attack r2 heavy attack so light attack let's cut this and light heavy attack but i don't think that's how you're supposed to do it there we go that's heavy attack Lock on R3 to target lock. Okay, so let's lock on to this nasty. All right, shield up. Always shield up. Like that from the RKG guys. Always have a shield up. This bug, here we go. Look. So I'm doing a jump attack there. Sort of. You don't learn that until later on. You sort of click the left stick and R2 for a jumping attack, which is a heavy attack, and it is very, very useful. I use that all the time. Okay. L1 blocks, timed blocks disarmed enemies. So if a timed block uh, will disarm them and it's a, a parry essentially. But parrying bugs. Is oh god! Let's kill this one quickly. I'm not going to lie to you. I am not very good at parrying. So I'm not going to focus on that right now. Yeah, I keep. When they, when they disappear, the noise sounds like they're still there. It really freaks me out. Um. So yeah, so this is like you, the, the feel, the way it feels, the way it looks when you're when you around, very much like Dark Souls One, but obviously it's spacey. It's not um, high fantasy, but it's very sort of uh, very Ellen, very Giger-esque. All this weird stuff, like all this, everything's goopy and weird and horrible. Lovely stuff. Use ba battery. That's the word I'm looking for. So pressing down, use the battery to recharge energy. So if you look down. I press down on the d-pad boom i use one of those it doesn't work do it instantly which is key there you go i've now got three left but my blue energy bar has replenished so let's press oh no hello i saw you up there so let's come it come on come here yep. green goop all over the joint there we go and very much Dead Space-esque on the back. You've got that, um, the, oh, I wonder if that coincides with his, uh, that blue thing on his back that coincides with his energy bar. I don't know, it probably doesn't. Um, and we'll get to reasons why I think that in just a moment. Oh, purple secrets, secrets. Let's go down here, there we go. So very similar to Dark Souls in the fact that when you die, um, you can go back and collect, you drop everything, um, all the uh, XP. If you look on the top right, the top there is, is the XP and um they'll be there for you to collect from where you died previously and if you die on the way then you lose it which obviously sucks and you can use your xp to to level up uh, in sections which we will get to later on but yeah very very similar to dark souls one two three all the, the souls games um and when i say it's like dead space i mean the fact it's set in space the fact of obviously what your character's wearing and the fact it's quite obviously a bit more a bit more horror themed than uh, than dark souls not to say that Dark Souls wasn't scary. Range combat, here we go. So left trigger L2 and R1 to light attack and L2 and R2 to heavy attack. So let's shoot this thing here. So try R1 and R2. Boom. And because it's a PS5, it's you've got the haptic feedback on the R2 as well. So there's a little bit of give on there. Ugh. Listen moist some moist steps okay let's go down here ah okay i found a beacon i'll send a signal see if you can sink decoding now so this is essentially this game's version of the uh, bonfires from dark souls so i've activated it now to interact with it you can Exit there. There you go. So you can see my um, batteries in the bottom have replenished, and my all my bars are replenished as well. So that's good news. So let's crack on. Now I'm not going to lie. This next section I know very very well because I died a lot on this next section here. So now entering main. Bar. Run. So the left, uh, clicking the left sticks, i.e. L3 to sprint. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. In fact, we're going to try and clear out some of these, some of these enemies. Now, you'll see this um, character um, on the ranged weapon has um, ice 
um, sort of effects on it. Um, different characters or different um, classes when you start have different effects. The first one I had had acid, and when you're doing acid against these types of bugs, it's you know it's they're, they're not immune to it, but they're resistant to it, so it doesn't really help. Whereas ice really really messes these things up. So I'm very very happy about that. So with these bugs, if I can, there we go. I'm going to try and physically distance to this one. Not quite working. So let's melee. Let's see, once they've got that um, that that ice effect up, when you melee them, obviously then they're doing significantly more damage. And when you use your um, ranged weapon, you see the energy bar goes down. But after you finished, it goes back up. So a little left here. There's a little areas. A little geezer on top. Let's get him. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. This is the thing, the controls still spin me out sometimes. This guy, this guy's a little bit different. He does an attack that I still, I've not come across before or since. So he sort of covers you in um, web. And it slows you down but it also hurts you at the same time as well it's very nasty there we go he's dead some more xp and some oh there you go pyro resin carbon something or other so you can collect those items to to build weapons to build um, weapons and armor and things like that um back at your ship which is you can get to via the um uh, those pods which are essentially the, the fire link shrines not fire link shrines sorry the bonfires uh, in this version of the game right these pods here as soon as you attack one those bugs come out so it's better to get them out on your own terms rather than wait until they attack you one thing that's quite erratic on this is the the, the rate of fire on these this i don't know how to sometimes it comes out as auto sometimes it's single shot like that i'm not sure if you can affect that in any way i don't know but i haven't found any consistency to it Nope, that door's locked. Can I go any further there? No. Oh yeah, so that was a waste of time. There you go. So let's run, run, run. Right now, as I say, it's dead space, so it is a horror element to it, which means you have to be on the lookout because things will jump out at you. There we go. That ice effect. There you go. Quick work of those ones. Ooh, let's run up there. Let's go up here. So this, uh, yeah. So this game it is just. I think I think it's fun. It is definitely worth checking out. Um, you've got to set expectations, though. This is not a triple A game. This is in your um, in your sort of B tier uh, developer B tier games. You know, sort of your THQs or um, game tier. So you you wouldn't be expecting, you know, um, Elden Ring or you know, Dark Souls three or Bloodborne sort of levels. You know, this is a small team. They've been working very hard this game for a very long time. Um, but oh, no, I can hear someone. Where is he? He's up there somewhere. So yeah, so you you not, you shouldn't be expecting AAA levels of production. Um, there, I know there's, there's due a day one patch tomorrow when this releases, and which have got to fix some bugs. I haven't come across any bugs yet, although I'm about to kill a bug. Ah, no, um, I haven't come across too many bugs yet. So hang on. So I think I've been quite lucky, although I've been looking up online to other people, they haven't run into too many bugs. But it does have a sort of a PS3 game remastered feel to it, um, which if, if you go in expecting that and you think, yeah, I'm, I'm in the mood for that type of thing, I think you can have a good time. If you go in expecting a AAA experience, you know, 70 quid's worth of game, you know, that's when you're going to be disappointed. So that's why part of the reason I want to show this and talk about it is to set expectations and so you can go in knowing what you're getting into and just have a good time with it. I've definitely been enjoying it. Um, I'll be perfectly honest with the first time I tried this, I was doing it on the uh, the tank um, class. Oh. I'll wait till this cutscene finishes. <laughs> I forgot about this cutscene, it's quite a long one. And what I was just talking about when it comes to budget and it's not a AAA production, I think 
this cutscreen kind of shows that quite well from the photo. Okay, when you watch this cutscene, you know what you're getting. This type, this level, this type of fair, you know, PS3 era feel, aesthetics. I mean, it is pretty. Maybe early PS4. Certainly not top level next gen. Big, uh, big bug. Good lighting effects though, I have to say. There we go. So Dolman Fragments. So I've got, you can see at the top, I've got 610 XP, one Dolman Fragment. Um, and the Dolman Fragments are used, I think it's used to part as the multiplayer thing. So very much like Dark Souls where you can um, have multiplayer. We can, I think it's, is it PVP or PVP? Yeah, I think it's PVP. And then, but also you can use it to, uh, to bring bosses back and you can fight bosses for more XP, which is a very cool idea actually. I really like that. Um, but yeah, so when I first started this, I was uh, went for tank uh, build uh, with a big old double-handed um, sword, and I could not get anywhere. I was like, really, really struggling, and so I started again with this, and I was thinking, oh, this game's terrible. I'm, I'm really not having fun. You know, I can't. It's too hard. I can't get the enemy through the enemies, and I changed it to uh, to this build, and straight away it was infinitely better, much more fun. Much easier to play and just to, to you know use the mechanics you're supposed to. And just try and force your way to using a very slow weapon. In my opinion, this is the way. Like a sword, a melee weapon, dodging. Oh, stamina's gone down. You can see the green there. To wait till that comes back up. I'm pressing the wrong damn button. There we go. Some parts there. Oh, I need to heal. There we go. Um, when you're sprinting, your stamina goes down as well. When you're sprinting, when you're dodging, rolling, using circle, there we go. Again, very Dark Souls. Um, uses your stamina. And obviously when you're fighting as well, so you can see the green go down. There we go. Alright, let's go down here. Elemental weakness. So try to apply elements into the enemies. Most of them have a specific weakness for you to explore. So, um, like I said, the... Oh my sweet Jesus. The ice element works very, very well against these bugs. So I'm going to carry on doing that. Does it interact? Oh, it's interact with there. I was going to say, I thought it was something I missed. Right. Let's get you. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. I don't know if there's any more. Oh, it's the light. I was like, what's that noise? The, the, I've got to say, the sound in here is quite good. Very eerie. He's throwing me off a few times. Oh, oh dear, staggered me. There we go. Also, when you're blocking and you get attacked, that will affect your stamina as well. And if you happen, just like happened to me, it will stag you if you don't have enough... Um, I don't know. If you don't have enough stamina, you can get easily staggered and then they can really mess you up very quickly. So I haven't been hit too many times, but if you get hit two, three, four times in a row, then you serious trouble very, very quickly. Now yeah, I know there's one there somewhere. There it is. Come it. So again, yeah, you saw the the the, um, the automatic rate of fire. I don't know how it does it. I don't know if it's something I can do or I'm doing. This is very HR target down here. Very alien. Uh, let's go up here. 
squelchy foot noises, lovely stuff. Alright, so here we're gonna. Ooh! Ow, see that was one hit and he messed me up very quickly. So let's use another one of those. Ooh, we've got five there. In fact, let's use another one to. There we go. Can... Ah, so I can get this fella. From a distance. There we go. Oh, didn't see you there. Gotcha. Yeah. You. Right, let's be careful here. The first I went across here, it, that scared the absolute bejesus out of me. You see what I mean about how, you know, this is a very cool idea and everything, but you can see just the way that it's put together, it's, it does have that PS3, early PS4 feel. But I'd say it's really PS3. But like I said, it doesn't mean that you can't. There isn't fun to be had. Um, and although, okay. I managed to synchronize the signal with Zone I've done this bit, this, this section, um, probably 20 times the amount of times I've died. So I know where all the bad guys are. So ship. it is not, I will now say, it is not as easy as, uh, as I'm making it look. Great. It's just because I know where everything is and I've done it so many times. It is a lot of trial and error. Okay, so this is now both taking us to the ship. So this is kind of like the Farthing Shrine. So this is a safe area. As you can see, all the bars at the top have been replaced. And this is also where you have an explore of the ship where you can do certain things like level up. So here, let's level up. So I've got 1280 uh, EXP. So nanites, that's it. So nanites are the EXP. So the next, I'm on level one. I've got 1,280 nanites. You can see under the level. And then the next upgrade is going to cost me 200. So I've got quite a lot to use. So all of this is level one. So in each one you go across, you can see what affects it. So the constitution means my health will go up. Um, I'll go to level two. And my physical defense will go up to eight. So my endurance, if I go back to level two. So across the resistance, my fire, ice, and acid resistance goes up. And I think my, yeah, my stamina points go up as well, which is very, very good. And energy, if I put that up, my energy points go up. And my defense on fire, ice, and acid in the middle there, they go up as well. And we've got strength. Of course, my melee attack goes from 118 to 119. Only one. That's not really good. Skill. Uh, I don't think that. Oh, I was going to say, I don't think it affects anything because I can't do it. Um, so I'm happy with those. Yeah, we're well, not great. So we're going to level up. There we go. Oh, those colours are growing on me. Um, here, so interact here. So here is where you can use the item. Sorry, the, the the materials that you've been picking up. You can use them to build and create uh, weapons and armour. So, so you can see on here see the pistols. You've got ice pistol, which is all that I have at the moment. Fire pistol, acid pistol, and a driller MG. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing, uh, but you can see on the recipe I have only I've got one out of the three that's required here. I've got one out of the two that's required, but I've got two out of two on the other bit. Um, so you can build different um, armor, weapons, and things on there as well. I'm not going to be honest. I've got loads of this on my other save game, but I haven't built anything yet. I don't know why. I'm very weird in these types of games. I usually will find a weapon uh, or armor set and stick to it which is why i really don't like breath of the wild because it makes you oh, i can just respec your colors there which i don't want to do um that's why i don't like breath of the wild because your uh, weapons degrade and break and i really really don't like it so we go up here so ah oh, if you speak to this person because we just saved them so we've got a fire reactor and acid reactor so you can now because we've got him you can respawn bosses and go to multiplayer and exit why well, anyone would want to respawn boss it's a super easy one to get xp i mean that's the whole reason why but i no thank you on the Soulsborne games once i've beaten the boss i've beaten the boss i do not want to be doing it again you can interact with them there just some uh, information on here we do anything? I don't think I've found to do anything in this room. 
Uh, no, it looks like you can interact with that, but I haven't done. So yeah, that's the ship. So when you get to the other beacons, then you can come back up and then do what you need to do. So it's interact, so let's go back and teleport. Teleport to dump. I, you know what? I don't know what that means. It says teleport to dump. I have not done that before. This is going to be the beginning. No? I don't, it says teleport to dump. I don't know what that means. It's just sent me back here. I've never clicked teleport to dump before. Okay, so you can teleport. You can choose where you drop yourself up. So all the other beacons, you can select them from it. Okay, so let's shoot these from a distance. Nope. Oh, he's fallen down. That'll be nice. Too. Come on. There we go. Nice effect. Boom. Done. Thank you very much. Rusty driller tool. Lovely. So now entering the crater. Unstoppable attacks. So the eye could above the enemy signal an attack that is unstoppable and can't be parried. Yeah, th that video in in particular, I always run into a bug with it where it just doesn't really play properly and sort of stutters. Um, but again, there's lots of on day one patches going to be fixing a lot of things. Uh, these guys, I try not to get too close. But I can just pick them off from a distance. Yeah, that's why. They're fire boys, and if those fire balls attack hit you, it will very slowly but very surely take your health down. And it hurts like the dickens. Ooh, very close. There we go. But I'm gonna need to run here because there's some bug boys up the left and they're gonna spit at me. There we go. Let's avoid them. There we go. And you as well, sir. Please die. Please die. Boosh. There we go. So the fire boys, on the whole, if, unless you get too close, they don't really bother you. So you can just sort of crack on. Um, let's go down here. God. Some. Ah, excellent. Lovely stuff. So what we want to do is that is a lift there. So we want to get on the lift. And get inside so we cut this thank you thank you and we can go down there if we want to using this so we can go down but we're not going to do that right now when you play so you can explore you can do it yourself but I wonder if I should I'll tell you what let's just put the giggles to see if I can oh see that didn't do a lot of that damage ow ow dodge 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 Come on. Oh, nearly fell off. There we go. All the skin gone. But you saw, yeah, you saw that orange thing at the top, at the top of them. That's, I think that must be the um, the attack that you can't dodge. And they're usually the horrible attack. They've got some nasty effects. So just if you see that, get away from them as soon as you can. Right, let's go inside here. Oh. Monstery things here. Also got one of these bad boys. Let's see if we can look. Oh, camera's got a bit mad there. Can we build up some nice effects to leave that fire boy? So, ow! See what I mean there? That was. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Move, dodge, dodge, roll. Oh, I'm this way. Uh, and I'm dead. There we go. You saw that thing that just that just um, like a hologram there. That is my XP. Basically, that's all my stuff that I've picked up. And if as long as I get there without dying, I can pick it all back up. If I die on the way, then that is gone forever, my dude. That is gone. So let's go and pick that back up. Go a little bit further, and then I will probably leave it at that. Um, so I don't think I can power through to the boss. There is a boss, but it takes quite a long time to get to. Ow, ow, ow. That was silly. See, that was reckless. If you if you don't if you're not careful in this game, same with any other Soulsborn games, you will get punished very quickly and you will die very quickly. So it's slow and steady. But I'm gonna ignore that right now. I'm just gonna zoom through. Go, go, go. Then we get straight back in there. 
So yeah, there's a few levels you can go down using that lift. Some more stuff to pick up. Oh. Remember I said earlier on they won't attack you, but they really are. So if I hit these guys, obviously the bugs will come out, so I'll try and avoid them. Right. Whoa! Yeah, you can see this guy, because he's a fire boy, he's not going to build up that fire... Um, um, effectiveness. effectiveness. Right, one thing... Oh god, where did he come from? Okay. Okay, okay, let's just tell you what, let's just run. Grab that, there we go, timeline restored. Press X to interact with it first to open the doors, and then after that you can just run through them, because if you do it beforehand... Ooh, I forgot this was here, I'll have to come back to my main game. Because see, you can't cut through these at the moment until you defeat the boss. I didn't know that was there, I'm going to come back to that. Okay. Here, I think there's another fire boy down here somewhere in a room. I can hear him. So you also press this. Now you can see it's green, so that means from now on I can just run through it and don't have to press that button every time. So yeah, right under here there's a fire boy. Yeah, well, sod it. Let's run. Go, 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 go! Fire boy. Ah, fire boy. I think there's a beacon here as well, isn't there? Yes, here we go. Beacon, beacon, beacon. There we go, interact with that. Reset. Beautiful. I think, you know what? I think we can just run to the boss. <gasps> yeah, let's do it. Right, let's show you the very the first human. boss in Dolmen. Huge. Bigger than everything you face so far. Mm, it's pretty Make big. Sure you're ready and equipped for the challenge. I am as ready as I'll ever be. And this gives you a little, a little indication of what the boss might be. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't yet. Oh, it's only after you've faced it. Okay. Let's pick this up. Okay, so this is where you need to go. And the these goopy stuff and these webby bits should give you an indication of what's coming. Dimensioner's Nest. Here we go. Ready? It's not going to be warm and fluffy, I'm telling you that right now. There we go. You've got the big music, you've got the... There we go, big hit, big hit. Build up the frozen status, then big hit. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that, look at that. Get too close. She will. Oh, I got lucky there. I got very lucky. Ah, see there. When she does that, it means these guys get released. And these are the ones, to be honest, that gave me the most trouble. The actual boss isn't too bad. He's just... There we go. Ah, don't get hit by those for a start. Just shoot and move, and you should be fine. Oh, no. No, absolutely not. No, that was silly. Nope. Stab is down. Go, go, go. There we go, there we go. We're fine, we're fine, guys. Fine, it's fine. There you go. Build up that ice status. Oh, no, 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 no. Health. It's getting icy. You can see at the bottom. The ice is really... Out of it. it's going down now. Oh no, I'm really not explaining myself very well. I'm very sorry, but I feel like you know what I mean. You can see those the ice meter basically showing that you know that the ice is hitting them this much. Oh wow, wow, timeline erased. That's upsetting.
Not much I could do about that. I was too busy trying to melee those little bugs. You, not, you don't melee them, you do them at range. So, there we go. So that is, yeah, so what I would suggest um, is going with, going with these expectations. So if you go in expecting like a AAA uh, game with all the bells and whistles, you know, you're not going to be, that's, that's not what they say. This is a, a game by a small team um, that um, they want to do a Souls type game, but they want to do it in space and they want to do it with some horror elements. And I think if you go in uh, with those expectations, I think you'll have a great time. Um, will I finish this? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how long it takes to, 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 uh, to beat, um, but I'm absolutely going to carry on playing it now. I'm really, really enjoying it. But um, I would say if it was out of five, I'll give us a three out of five. Um, right now, like I said, I've played about three, four hours of it. So, oh, hello. Oh, hi, guys. What do you want to do? Oh, thank you very much. I will do. Uh, so yeah, so um, if you like Souls games, uh, if you like a bit of horror, if you like um, Dead Space, if you like Lovecraftian weird horrible monsters, I think you know, I think you get something out of this. Um, so this is out on Friday the uh, the twentieth of May. Uh, I think it's on PlayStation Five, PlayStation Four, Xbox Series, um, and PC. Um, and yeah. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Um, if you watch on twitch.tv uh, uh, slash Michael underscore Galeva, if you give us a follow, that'd be fantastic. I'm trying to get to 50 followers. Um, I'll turn to you watching on YouTube. Thank you very much. If you'd like the game, or what, tell me what you think of the game. Do you think you'll be picking it up? Do you think we'll give it, uh, you know, give it a shot? Let me know in the comments. Give us a like. That'd really be appreciated as well. That's on Power Region Plays on uh, YouTube. So thank you very much for walking. For walking. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.